Hey there, Jag here from Modern Work Training and Consulting based in Melbourne, Australia. So in episode 93, 94 and 95, I think we covered uh, how to migrate from Trello to Microsoft Planner. So in this episode of uh, episode 97, I think, uh, so what we'll look at is actually how to migrate from SharePoint, your classic SharePoint task list to Microsoft Planner. So the latest recommendation from Microsoft is use Planner, uh, you know, to create your tasks list inside your modern sites. What if you already have a classic, um, you know, SharePoint task list that you've been using in your team sites? How do you migrate those across into Microsoft Planner? So based on how we actually migrated from Trello to Microsoft Planner, we just use a similar concept of uh, using Microsoft Flow to actually read from the task list in SharePoint and, and migrate it into Microsoft Planner. So let's get in, uh, let's log on to the computer and actually have a quick look and how to do that. So here we have a classic SharePoint task list. What we have is a task name, due date, assigned to a description on few tasks and a start date uh, and, and a due date as well, right? Uh, so let's look at how you could actually migrate this into a, you know, into the same Microsoft Planner um, that we've used in the previous episodes. So in this in this case, rather than creating buckets, because we don't have the concept of buckets and task list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, say, a bucket uh, called SharePoint Tasks or something. Right. So I'm going to actually migrate everything into this uh, SharePoint tasks bucket for us to do that. Just go back into what we're going to use is we're going to use a, a flow that I've created uh, called SharePoint tasks to plan. Let's go quickly and edit this flow and I'll actually do a quick walkthrough of the flow itself. Uh, so what we're doing, we are actually manually uh, triggering the work uh, flow and we're getting items from that particular task uh, from the classic task list and then for each item in the task list what we're doing is actually we're going to go and and we're going to check if the dates are you know if they're null values or not and things like that so there's a few things that you need to check because of the date formats okay so i'll actually uh, package this template into uh, I'll, I'll actually package this uh, flow into a template and i'll actually leave the link to the the template in my uh, blog post so check it out on modernwork.cloud all you have to do is just uh, download the, the template and export it into your flow and then change a few settings around your your uh, SharePoint sites and so on. So um, so in this coming back to the uh, flow itself so we're going to create a task and here you can actually see we've actually uh, what we're doing is you know if if the start date and the due date is not null then we're actually you know converting the date uh, date format to the required ISO date format and then you know just very pretty straightforward so and then we're updating we're adding the description to the actual task itself so we just repeat this for the in, in a few other conditions to check if the actual start date and end date is null and then we actually write uh, if if it is actually null then we'll actually leave it blank by actually you know leaving leaving the start date blank you get the idea so this is a quick uh, flow that i've created just just to migrate from sharepoint task to the planner right so let's quickly save this and uh, just before I run this though, I just wanted to make sure that there's no tasks in here. Then I actually go back into my flow, go to my flows, and then click run now. Run flow. You can see the flow is actually started. So if I just go back into my task, uh, into my planner, I shouldn't be able to see those tasks coming in into the SharePoint tasks anytime soon. There you have it. So the tasks are actually starting to come up and you can see task one with the due. Uh, if I open the task one, you can actually see it's put into SharePoint tasks and the start date and the due date and the descriptions are migrated, are migrated as well. There you have it. So that's how you actually migrate from a classic SharePoint task list to a uh, Microsoft planner that is attached to the same um, to your team site. So if you want to access the Microsoft Flow uh, that we, I just walked you through, uh, just log on to my website and uh, follow through the actual uh, link within the blog post for this episode 97.
Thanks for watching. This is Jag from Modern Work Training and Consulting based in Melbourne, Australia. If you're looking for any training or consulting work in around Office 365, please do reach out to me on modernwork.cloud. Cheers. Thanks a lot.